There's many times you need to sort an array out in lab view, especially something that's numeric like this array. You can see here these numbers aren't really in order, but I need them to be for this particular project. So if we right click and under arrays, we go to sort 1D array. Now when I run the code, it sorts out all my integers into an order from the lowest to the highest. If there is repeating numbers like this 48, it will print both of them. So it will print out all the elements based on your input. Now for 2D arrays, this can also be done. It's found under arrays, and then right next to 1D array, it's sort 2D array. The sort 2D array will not sort out the array like one may think, where it will not start with the lowest number in this first cell, and then the highest number in this last cell. As we can see, if we look up at this help guide, our 2D array and our index are bold, so those are required. The default state for this middle wire here is a column, but it can be changed to a column or a row if desired. So what this is doing is it's sorting out the 2D array based on the column or the row, and then it'll increment it from high to low. So for this example, I'm just going to use the column, and now I'm going to go to index 1. And now if we see here, it goes 6, 3, it goes 6, 637, and 5. If I run this now, now we have 5, 6, and then our 637. So the lowest number and then the highest number. But if we notice, all the other rows now follow that suit. So if I were to go to, let's say you go back to 0. Now this 45 and this 5 are in the same row. This 6 and the 5 are in the same row. And then this 6 and then the 637 and 5 are in the same row. So if I run this, you can see the rows are still lined up. So it sorts it through the column, but it changes the row for the entire group. Now if we switch this to rows, it'll do the same thing. Now it'll actually take, it'll take the full column and put it wherever it, it's placed in. So if I hit run on this, our first row gets sorted, and then the columns line up with it. So let's try call. Uh, so let's try index three. Notice this boolean indicator came on, and it says our index is out of range. So I asked index three, but zero, one, two, three. We actually don't have an index three for the rows. So I'll back up to two and run the program again. And now this indicator turns off because we actually do have an index two. And as we can see, it is sorted from smallest to greatest, and the columns followed it. So if we were to go to our index 1, this 1 should be the first one, and this 12 and this 456 will follow it in this first column. So index 1, run the program, and there you can see the 12 and the 456 followed this number 1 as the lowest integer in this group. So that's how you sort arrays from 1D and with the 2D. And just remember to be a little careful with the two-dimensional array because it may not function as you think, but it's pretty self-explanatory once you get using it. So hope this was helpful and stay tuned for more.